I just want to do like a video of what's in my horse's first aid kit. And but before I get into it, I'm gonna explain like why I'm doing it. I noticed like when I was getting my kit together, you know, I was looking on YouTube's for good examples of what like other riders had in their first aid kit. And I noticed that like it was either like professional vets or like people that are advertising like first aid kits that like you, you know, you go and buy like a pre made one. And like, you know, I didn't like those ones just because they were like all professional and like a lot of this stuff is stuff that you wouldn't use hardly ever. And then a lot of people like had first, like the other people that I saw that had first aid kits were just like, you know, they were just like didn't have a lot of actual first aid products in them. They had like, like a couple first aid products and then like stupid stuff like pencils and you know stuff like that and like that wasn't helpful either so I thought I'd make you know show people my first aid kit to help them you know start thinking about what they want in theirs and I just want to say I don't have my own horse right now we're looking at buying right now I have a full lease on a horse um but I'm just getting my first aid kit ready for when I do get a horse and this is just the stuff that I personally have in mind. It is not complete yet, and I'm going to tell you what I want to add to mine. But, um, you know, this is just, like, my start, and it's just what I want in mine. You can have completely different opinions on what you want to have in yours, but this is just what I want in mine. So let's get started. I keep all of the products in this toolbox, which is pretty big, but I've been noticing lately that I might need to get a bigger box because not all my stuff fits in it. I'll show you what I have in there. And then it has just like a handle at the top. So that kind of makes it easier to carry. But, um, so inside just looks like, like this. It's hard to see, but I'll show. Um, it has this tray in it. And then I'm going to go through everything that I have in a minute. And then it has like, oh my god, I'm having issues. Um, all this stuff in it. So, um, let's just start with the tray. So, in the tray, but, um, I have this, and this is an instant cold pack, and it's just one of those ones where you, like, crush it and shake it, and it gets all cold and stuff. And this could be used for the horse or the rider, so say your horse, like, pulled a muscle or something and his leg swelling, you can apply an ice pack. And I only have one of these right now, but I'm going to get a couple more of these because I think they're really useful to have on hand. And then also in that top fill tray is a couple of different sizes of syringes. Um, these are okay. This is good for, like, oral medications, and this is good for, like, if you need to, like, clean out a wound, you can put, like, you know, some wound cleanser in there and some water or something and clean out the wound. But, um, I've also seen really big ones of these that have, like, a bigger tip and stuff so that are better for cleaning out wounds, and I'm going to buy one of those next time I go to a store that has one. But, so I have these right now. These are really useful. And then I have some hand sanitizer. So, if, you know, there's no way to wash your hands with, like, you know, good soap and stuff, before you touch your horse and after you touch your horse's wound or injury, um, you could have some hand sanitizer on hand. Um, I have a small container of Vaseline and that's good just to put over a wound to help with scarring and to help protect it a little bit. Um, I don't think this has really good antibiotic stuff in it, like it won't really kill germs but it helps protect it a little bit. And I will be getting a bigger tub of this to keep in here. But this is what I have for now. And then I have bandaging scissors. So they have like the blunt nose tip so you don't cut your horse if you have to cut off a bandage. And so those are nice um, to have. And then I have normal scissors. Little kid scissors. Um, and these are good for like if you have to cut like some hair off your horse or cut something else, or like even like open like medication or something, or like, you know, you can't get something open, these help for that. 
And that's all that I had in the first tray. And then in the main compartment, um, I'll start with this. This is just like a big washcloth in a Ziploc bag. And this is good for like if your horse gets a really big wound and is bleeding a lot. You could try to stop the bleeding with this. It's also good for like cleaning stuff. And I keep it in the Ziploc bag just to keep it clean. Then I get all dirty. And then I have plastic gloves in this bag. And I have 10 different gloves. Not plastic gloves. Latex gloves. And I have different, like 10 different ones in there. And I put them in a plastic bag because they came in a big box like this that has I think it said 40. I'm trying to find it. But um Oh, 50 gloves. It has 50 gloves in it, and it's just too big to keep in my first aid kit because I need room for other stuff. So I decided just to take 10 out to put my first aid kit and keep this stuff at home for when I, you know, run out of gloves in here and I can always restock it. Um, and then I have in here, I have cotton balls, and those are helpful for, you know, applying stuff to a wound or now, I don't really like cotton balls for anywhere, like, near wounds usually just because they do, like, like, I'll show you. Like, they leave, oh, I can't get my bag open. There it is. They, like, you see, like, how they, like, like, pull apart like that? So, like, if you, like, are cleaning a wound with it, like, these can, like, get stuck in the wound and irritate it. And, like, that's also why, like, I've seen some people that will just put, like, their, like, whatever ointment they're using. Like, say they're using Vaseline. They'll put Vaseline on it and stick it and then, like, wrap it. And then, like, it's just these fibers, like, get encrusted in the wound. And then, like, it's just not good for your horse. So, like, if you completely soak these and then, like, you're just using it to apply something, they're okay. But besides that, you shouldn't really use them with wounds. And then I also have down there, I don't know if you can see that, there's little Q-tips. And those, I only have a couple of those just because they're not quite as needed. But, you know, you could, like, get something, I don't know. I don't know. But, um, then I have these. And these are really, really important. And I know a lot of horse people don't have these. And I just don't understand why. And this is just non-stick pads and so these are the kind of pads that you want to use they just kind of look like that these are the kind like in the package and you open the package and then because it's sterile in there but these are the kind of pads you want to use um for like wrapping a wound because it doesn't stick to the wound and it doesn't leave little fibers in there like gauze and cotton balls that do so there's that and then, like, I want to get, I don't have any gauze rolls, but I want to get some gauze rolls because, for wrapping purposes, but I don't have those yet. And then, I got, what else do I have in here? I have the first aid cleansing spray, and this is basically an off-brand of Bactine. And that's, you know, it, it, it doesn't sting. It's sting-free, so that's good for using on horses because, you know... A lot of like cleaning, like wound cleaning stuff does sting, especially if it's made for people. But this doesn't. And so it also says it helps relieve pain. I don't know if that actually you know, works or not, but it might. So this is good for also do, like cleaning small wounds. Um, and then I have the Epsom Salt Paul Tooth. I don't know if I said that right. right? I don't, I don't, Paul Paul I don't know. Paul, I don't know. But, um, it's for abscesses, sprains, strains, and bruises. And this stuff's kind of gross. But to me, it almost smells like, like, like root beer candy. Like, I don't know why, but it does. But it's just, it's like green. And you put this on, like, say your horse, like, has a strained, like, muscle in their leg or something. You could put this on it and then, like, wrap it and it'll help with that. Or, like, if your horse has an abscess in its hoof, you can put this all over, like, on the hoof and then wrap up the hoof or put, like, a hoof boot on. And this will, like, draw out the abscess. So, 
Epsom salt is really good to have. You can just get even plain Epsom salt, like normal stuff that you can get anywhere. And like so, you know, and you can soak your horse's injury in water with the Epsom salt mixed in. This is just kind of like all done for you. So you just like slab it on there and like wrap it. But, so that's pretty useful to have. And then I have, this is something that almost all people have in their horse's first aid kit, but it is Furazone. And there's other brands of this, but it's like, it looks like that inside, but it's Fura, um, is like, it's kind of like, it's Vaseline with sulfur mixed into it. And like the Vaseline, like I already said, like protects wounds and like just kind of helps with scarring and stuff. And so this does that, and then it also has the sul the sulfur keeps flies away, and it also um it also like helps keep it like the bacteria bacteria out. There's that. Oh, and this is really cheap. This is only like six bucks for like this big bottle. The bottle's pretty big. And then I have this is also pretty common in first aid kits. It's vet wrap for this is syrup vet is not for a vet wrap um i only have one roll right now but i need i will be getting more of that to um you know because you can always use vet wrap that wrap is so useful and this so you would use this say your horse got like a small wound or something on the leg you would clean it and then you'd put one of these on it and then you could do a roll of gauze and then you could wrap it with your vet wrap and that would be how you're supposed to take care of a wound. I know a lot of people don't do the gauze roll after this, but, you know, I don't know. That's personal preference if you want to do the gauze roll or not. And then I have Betadine Surgical Scrub. And this is for, like, um, like, it's, like, cleaning, like, I think clean wounds and stuff. And it's, like, it's... It says to use it, like, for surgery, for preparation to do the skin prior to surgery. But it also is just, like, cleaning stuff. So you can just, like, clean wounds with it. So it's really kind of, it's nice. I think this stuff's expensive, though. I don't, I don't remember how much it costs, but this is a really big bottle. Um, and then I got this. And I'm sure you've all seen this at your, like, grocery store and drugstore and stuff. It's hydrogen peroxide and I do not use this very often because it stains and so like the only time I really use this is if like and it's also really can like damage their skin like it can kill skin because um it's really harsh so if you use this mix it with water first like you know like half this and half water or something but um it's really um you know, it stings, and so it's just useful for, like, if it's a hard-to-reach area, because it has, like, you know, like, crevices, like, around, like, the bottom, like, right above their hoof, or, like, around their ankle and stuff, it might be hard to get that completely clean with normal cleaning stuff, but since this, like, fizzes and bubbles, it will, like, clean it really good, but if you're gonna use this, you should put it in a sur sur syringe, and like spray it on there because it does like sting you don't want to be like you putting it on something and rubbing it on your horse's wound because they're not gonna like it and they're gonna you know they're gonna start prancing around or like they if you're doing something with their legs they might try to kick you so be careful if you use this I hardly ever use this but it's good in case of like you know you absolutely need it you can use it and so that's all I have in my first aid kit right now. I mentioned a whole bunch of stuff that I wanted to add to it. Um, I don't think I mentioned that I want some vetrocene, which I should be getting probably like right after I get my horse, or a couple weeks after I get my horse, I'll get some vetrocene. But um, thank you for watching. Um, 